As of a few hours ago, we have the first reported cases of South African variants. And with that announcement, increased concern about how the coronavirus is changing. We're kind of in a race against time. We're in a race against variants. Now, Dr. Peter Chin Hong of UCSF says it's more important than ever to vaccinate as many people as quickly as possible because this new variant, he says, is not so easily beaten back. With a South African variant, you have the superpower of being easily transmissible, but also that the vaccines may not work quite as well. Which brings us to Menlo Park and Pacific Biosciences, a biotech company working to decode the genetic footprint of the coronavirus. A real-time surveillance system. A system crunching data to identify what's changing and how well vaccines might work against those changes. And then it can be used by the uh, vaccine companies and, and by the health labs, the CDC and so forth, um, to study how effective vaccines are to those new uh, variants like the South African variant. It's high tech detective work and PacBio just got $900 million from venture capital giant SoftBank for more tracking. Meanwhile, Dr. Chin Hong says if the new variant has indeed been discovered in two Bay Area counties, he says it's likely just the tip of the iceberg and is in real time spreading all over the place. In San Francisco, Scott Budman, NBC Bay Area News.